Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today I just want to show you a few quick easy ways of creating a logo out of smoke. So this is one of the examples. This one is probably the easiest one because um, the smoke is confined within the geometry and the edges are basically really sharp. And then the other version that I made is this one. Uh, where there's no sharp edges and basically the smoke is just attracted to the shape of the letters but it still sort of wobbles around and gives you this nice detail and then in the end I just made it all mixed together so I'll show you how to do that too if you're new to the channel welcome my name is Jesse I'm a visual effects artist based in Los Angeles and I've been making a lot of tutorials which you can check out be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on all of the upcoming future content and as always I would appreciate a thumbs up if you guys are enjoying the tutorials so here I am in max and I've already made some basic text I'm working in units centimeters one unit is one centimeter as usual we can go right ahead and create a Phoenix grid under Phoenix FD Fire and Smoke Sim Auto Grid and just drag out a grid like this that covers your letters. Um, then we need to create a few emitters. So basically if you look at this example, I have several emitters here. Each one has a different color. So we're just going to go under standard and create a sphere. And you can just use Auto Grid to create the sphere on the surface of the text. So I would just make one right here. And then right click, go to object properties and make it not renderable. And then right click again, go to Phoenix FD properties and make it not a solid object. And then we're going to go under helpers, Phoenix, PHX source and just create a regular source. Let's add this sphere as our source. So for the outgoing velocity, we're going to do 600 centimeters for about 60 frames. So we just set a keyframe. So again, it goes from 0 to 60 at 600 centimeters and then on frame 61 and switches to 0. And that's just because I found that, um, and that's just because I found that 60, 70 frames approximately was enough for the letters to fill in completely with smoke. But this is something that's completely up to you. And then we can turn off temperature, leave smoke at 1. And if you want to do colored smoke, just enable RGB and then you can pick a color. So let's make this one a maybe a light blue. And then what we would do is just copy the sphere over and copy the emitter. And then for the second emitter, we will pick the second sphere and just give it a different color. And so you would repeat this however many times you would need to have enough emitters inside of the letters to fill them in. So now what you can do is select the text and hit Alt X, which will make it semi-transparent, select the spheres and move them inside. And then we need to go into the Phoenix settings here. So for the grid, just raise the resolution a little bit. And then under dynamics, we can basically leave everything at default. You can increase the quality to about 30, which will just make the smoke interact a little better with the letters. And actually under grid, we need to select confined geometry and select the letters as our confined geometry. Um, this way Phoenix knows that we want to only have the simulation happen within the geometry of the letters. And then let's go under rendering, cutter geometry, enable it, and again select the letters again. So this way if any of the smoke were to escape the geometry, this cutter basically cuts it out and only will allow you to render the smoke that's within the letters. Now since we're doing colored smoke, we need to go under output and enable RGB. And then we need to go under volumetric options, smoke color and say based on RGB. Preview, you can disable everything here and then just enable the GPU preview. And then under output, just select where you want to simulate this into. So I've simulated a few frames just to make sure that everything's working and everything is running the way it should. You can see I have the dark blue and the lighter blue here. I could have many different colors. So basically, you would just select the letters, go to object properties, make it not renderable, and then you could render out the smoke by itself. And that would basically give you this exact result here. So now that we've done that, let's move on to this one. So this one, the beginning is the exact same thing, except we're just going to go under helpers, Phoenix and create a body force and select the letters as our body force. And now we need to select the letters, right click Phoenix FD properties and make them not a solid object. 
This way the smog will be attracted to the shape of the letters but it will not bounce off the walls. As you can see here there's nothing obstructing the smoke yet it is taking on the shape of the letter. So I hope that's clear. And then for the body four settings, you wanna give it something that's pretty high. So I would say maybe 700 for strength. We don't want any fade start. Suppress orbit, you can do one, which will basically force the smoke to stay in place better. And that's about all you need. And then one thing that I would add is maybe some turbulence, which basically will make the smoke constantly wobble like this. So you would just go under Phoenix Helpers again, make, make a PHX Turbulence. And then what I found worked pretty good was um, 30 for strength and 50 for size. But again, this is something that you can play with to get whatever effect you're looking for. And then basically what I did in the end here to make it all mix together and rise up, I did three basic things. Number one, I went to the body force and animated the strength to go from 700 to zero. Then I went to the turbulence and made the strength 200 and the size, I think I made 200 as well, which basically will make it chaotic and mixed together. And then I went under dynamics and I animated the smoke buoyancy to go up. And I think it all happens around frame 70. So here I would just set a keyframe for smoke buoyancy, go a few frames forward and set this to three or some kind of a higher value which will basically make the smoke rise up. So I just was kind of playing around, um, but you can make some pretty cool stuff without much effort. So without any further ado, let's just jump into the third one. The setup basically stays the same, except I would just select the grid and raise it on Z and then move it down. And then I would select the spheres and remember that the smoke is basically still being attracted to the ladder. So uh, everything can stay the same here. And we can just go under simulation and run the sim again. All right, so I ran the sim and it didn't work. And that's because we need to go here and disable the confined geometry and then go under rendering and disable the cutter geometry because we don't need any of that anymore. That was only helpful for this first example, but now we need the smoke to actually be able to go everywhere so we can disable that. And now if I hit sim, okay, so everything's working fine. Um, the smoke is being attracted to the letters and taking the shape of the object. So what I would do now is just animate the smoke to die off sooner because you don't need that much. So maybe I would only do this for about 20 frames. And then what you'll end up with is basically this kind of a result. So super simple tutorial today. I hope that you guys found this helpful. If you are a beginner and you would like more info on all of the settings and what everything does, be sure to check out some of the other tutorials on the channel. I'm kind of assuming that you guys have an understanding of Phoenix and some of the basics, but there's about 40 um, tutorials here for you guys to learn from if anything seems confusing. So thanks again very much for watching and I'll talk to you later.